All right, so we want to get four photos of you. Um, if you can upload those on the website below, there's four different spots for you to upload. Um, the first one is going to be what we call a neutral face. This is just a normal, natural face, no smile, no frown, as if you said the letter M. Normal face, maybe get a close-up of the lips. Do it again. Just want to see the size and shape of the lips. So that's photo one. Photo two is going to be with a smile. We want to see your teeth. Again, close up, some that we can actually see your entire head, your entire face, um, and get a good picture of your teeth. So you can see if you have an overbite or an underbite. That's important. Uh, the third thing is going to be a profile. That's a side photo. We want to see what your jawline looks like from the side. So you can go left or right, and the goal is to turn just a little bit to the left and really get so we can see if you have an underbite, overbite, shape of the jaw. So again, maybe a natural photo just like that. Okay. okay, and for the fourth and final photo, we want to see hand size. The best way to determine this is to have a common object. So you have a couple choices. Uh, we would say a pencil works really good. We would like for you to do it on with both hands, left hand on top, because when you play a recorder or flute, clarinet, saxophone, any of the woodwinds, the left hand is always on top. So this is my left hand. This is my right hand. And I'm going to put those on top and just hold the pencil nice and lightly with the fingertips. Okay, and that's going to be a, a great way to do it. And so you give a photo just like this, where I can see both your hands and your face. You can smile if you want. I'm excited to be in bed. I can't wait. This is going to be exciting. So photo with the hands. Okay. If you don't have a pencil handy or you want to try something different, another option would be a water bottle, something that you can hold with both hands, and I can see how large your grip is. I want to see how what your hand reach is. It's especially imp important for things like saxophone and bassoon, your hand size. So if you're doing saxophone or bassoon, I maybe say do a water bottle um, of some kind. If you're doing clarinet or flute um, or any of the brass instruments, a pencil will work just fine. All right, thank you. Get that sent to us.